One in four women will experience domestic violence in her lifetime, a crime that leads to serious injury and even death. Last month, Beaumont police charged Sean Laverne with murder and the death of his girlfriend, 38-year-old Reggie Jokodola, at her Beaumont home. According to the arrest warrant, neighbors heard a woman yelling, Sean, you're hurting me, you're going to kill me. Then the screaming stopped. KFDM Sarayda investigates how prevalent domestic violence is in our area and is at the jail tonight. Sarai? Greg, 27-year-old Sean Laverne is being held here on a $1 million bond as he awaits his trial in the murder of his girlfriend, a story of domestic violence too often repeated. So it was more like fear for my life. It was fear that led Monica to leave her longtime boyfriend after he became verbally abusive. So it's been going on most of my life with different situations, but this one situation just opened my eyes to basically like, I can't do this no more. After a series of abusive relationships, Monica had to make a decision. I had to either stay and see what was going to happen or leave and hopefully he won't find me. Um, just in the Golden Triangle, that uh, rates are rapidly r arising um, in reference to domestic violence. Bianca Coleman from Family Services of Southeast Texas works with women like Monica escaping abusive relationships, helping them find jobs as well as legal advice. The goal here is to empower uh, women that have been domestic, uh, affected by domestic violence, um, to strengthen them and give them the ability to move forward with their lives. Last year alone, um, our agency handled eight eight. Uh, domestic violence homicides. This year we're up to three. The death of Reggie Jacodola last month at her apartment is what Sergeant Borrero says many in Southeast Texas are working to prevent. We want them to file charges and be held and hold their abuser held accountable. The main important thing is is to get away, whatever means possible. For hurting you verbally and physically, that's hurt, period. So if you in a situation where you were, you with someone and they verbally abuse you, get away before it gets physical because tomorrow might be your last day. If you or someone you know is in a, an abusive relationship, you can call 833-2668. Live in Jefferson County, I'm Sarai Demine, KFDM 6 News.